This video explains how to reproduce and avoid the dplyr warning message summarize has grouped output in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines 2 to 5 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains 12 rows and the three columns, crew one, crew two, and values, whereby the first two columns will be used as main and subgroup indicators. Now, if we want to group our data based on the dplyr package, we also need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the group by and summarize functions of the dplyr package. So let's assume that we want to group our data based on the columns group 1 and group 2, and then we want to calculate the sum of the column values by these subgroups. Then we might apply the code that you can see in lines 10 to 12. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data group is created. However, you can also see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the message summarize has grouped output by crew one. You can override using the dot groups argument is appearing. However, this warning message might be confusing because it was implemented after a recent update of the dplyr package. And it simply tells you that some grouping has occurred in your data, but it doesn't tell you that anything was wrong. You can also see that by printing the output of our previous syntax, as you can see in line 14 of the code, and as you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console, the output seems to be fine. So the group one and group two group indicators have been used to create subgroups of our data set, and the new column group sum is containing the sum by subgroups. So this output is fine, and you shouldn't be confused by this message of the dplyr package. However, if you want to avoid this message in RStudio, you can use the options function, as you can see in line 16 of the code. So after running line 16 of the code, the dplyr summarize message is disabled. And we can see that by running our code once again, as you can see in lines 18 to 20. So these lines of code basically contain the same syntax as lines 10 to 12. However, if you run these lines of code, you can see that no message is appearing at the bottom in the RStudio console anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.